Hey guys, what is up the new Cubist here? Welcome to episode 17 of my Falling Falling Survival series. Uh, so, we got the house close to done in the last episode, but we're gonna finish it out this episode. We're gonna be making it look really, really pretty. So first things first, we gotta sort this mess of an inventory. So I'm gonna do that off camera, grab a few materials we're gonna need. I'll do that on camera because we're gonna decide what we're gonna use. I'm not exactly sure, but give me a second. Let me sort all this stuff and I'll be back. Before I sort though, remember we kept falling and falling, haha, <laughs> falling, falling, uh, but we kept falling out of this hole in the spawn. Well, luckily we have beds now, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And I hear a lot of mobs, let me check, I know I said I was going to do something, but I really want to check and see how many mob drops are going to be up here, because they can accumulate quite a bit. Uh, stupid spiders though, we don't need to worry about them. But yeah, we definitely need to clean this out. Our inventory is very full, but we did get a diamond, which is nice. You know, it's always nice to get a diamond. I'm waiting for the sugar cane to grow a little bit more. And then of course, we'll get started on something a little bit better in that uh, regard, like some enchanting. Okay, so our inventory is sorted. I think what I'm gonna go for as far as the walls go in this build, I'm just gonna use cobblestone because we have a lot of it. And uh, if we use other materials, we may not ever be able to complete the project. Uh, we had a lot of iron smelting up, which is absolutely incredible. It means we can make a few pickaxes. <laughs> We're going to need just a few to dig all this out, I promise. We're going to need so many tools. Uh, so we'll go ahead and make two more pickaxes, which should be good enough. And then we'll make, um, we'll make two shovels. And then I want to say that should be good. Our axe shouldn't run out because that seems to be the uh, last tool to sort of run out just because of how uh, how the blocks are and how they spawn. Uh, but let me throw one last thing up, okay? All right, let's get back up to the house and let's start working. Of course, most of the work, sorry, I had to pause there. Most of the work's gonna be done off camera just because of how, oh, what? Did a mob just hit me through a corner block? If that would've killed me, I would've been kind of upset. Uh, but yeah, I want to get most of it done off camera just because it's going to take a long, long time to complete. Uh, but in this, ep in between this episode and last, I added this nice little fence just because I felt like it was more secure to do it like this. I know I said I wouldn't build a whole lot outside of the bounds of the map, but it's really not that far outside. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave this wall right here and just turn this into cobblestone like this. And then I'm going to go up the entire thing and just sort of, I'm just going to show you what I'll do on one layer. And then I'll go ahead and do it off camera just because it's going to take so long. Uh, but yeah, like right here, this will all be cobblestone just like this. And it should look really cool. I'm thinking it's going to look pretty uh, pretty nice. It's going to be a nice home for sure. Um, I don't know if it'll have more than one layer. I guess we'll just sort of have to see how it happens as we build it. But like for instance, there's little parts right here. Oh, there's little things like this that are going to be kind of tricky to deal with. Um, like this block fell and then this one needs to be the cobblestone. And then of course the same thing goes here. So I'll break out these blocks right here, put them in this cobblestone, and I'm gonna do that throughout this entire thing. So I'll come back when that's complete. It will take a little bit, but of course you guys won't have to wait through the magic of editing. Cool. Please die, please. I looked at him wrong and now he doesn't want now he doesn't want to be friends anymore. Okay. Ah, we got an ender pearl too. Nice, nice. And there we go. The rest is history. We used all of our tools. They're pretty much all gone. I'm gonna have to craft some new ones. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. I mean, it was a big project, but it's, you know, it's one of those things where it's satisfying once you're finally done. Um, I'm gonna make another shovel and then another pickaxe, and I think we should be good. We're not gonna be doing any major uh, work. I'll show you how it looks in just a moment here, I promise. I'm just gonna set up a few things. I wanna bring some chests, a barrel, a crafting table for sure. Um, definitely some acacia trap doors. We're gonna need to make some fence, I guess, out of dark oak wood. It's really not gonna matter what the fence is made of. Um, and then I wanna take some glowstone. Probably not that many pieces. Actually, you know what? We may need a bunch. You never know. So I'm gonna make all of this stuff into sticks since we have a lot of birch wood, so we'll do it like that. And then we'll make, so I think, see, I, I, I never remember this correctly. Is this how you make fence? No, that's how you make fence gates. I will never get that right, and I don't know why, but I've never gotten it right. 48, I think that's good. Okay. Let's run back up and let's see how well it looks, or how good it looks, I guess. Okay, we're at the top. So, basically, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I made this entire thing into cobblestone. It looks good. I didn't put torches on one side for some reason. Um, what I need to do for sure is I need to put some lights hanging down from the ceiling. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove most of these torches. Now, some of them will have to be kept, like the ones up there. Um, I also didn't really bring any blocks to do this with, but I guess we'll do it something like this. 
Um, I want to have glowstone hanging from the ceiling, but I don't want it to be I don't want it to be like uh, Too uniform, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something like this I'm gonna hang some glowstone down like for instance right here And then I want to cover it on every side with acacia trap doors just like this and it should look pretty good I think that's at least the thought behind it. I'm not gonna do it if I think it'll look bad um, Oh, no, I put two didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, so something like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sort of go around, pillar up like that, and add some little lights. I think that's the second step what we need to get done. Um, I, I was debating between this and lanterns, and the thing about lanterns is we don't have a lot of iron, and I'm not willing to really waste a bunch of... I guess it's not wasting the iron, but I didn't want to use a whole bunch of iron on uh, something like this. So I'm just going to do it like this for now. Um, I want to have the... Oh, man. I want to have some of them at different heights. I want to sort of vary it up a little bit. I don't want it to look the same from every angle, um, but see, it's just kind of hard to do this just because it's so high. I wish I had uh, some elytra wings and fireworks, but you know what? That wouldn't even really help either. Maybe if we had creative flight, but unfortunately, don't have that. Um, so I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to keep doing this. Um, I'll add a few more. I think one like right here should be good. So I guess I really didn't need that much glowstone, but I want to add lights up in other places as well I'm only gonna hang this one two blocks down just adds a little bit of variation um, Oh, I can't put the trap I was worried. I wouldn't be able to put the trap door there. Can I fit them on all sides? I can okay close them all nope Oh dang it. <laughs> See I was holding down shift because I didn't want to fall Okay just like that and then I think that should be enough light for the ceiling obviously when it's day these ginormous windows let in more light than we'll ever need but I want to move in up here I don't want to live where we've been living I feel like we've been there long enough um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna start doing that now I don't know where to put the chests exactly I have a vision in my head for how I want this whole thing to play out I kind of want to have some stairs over here um, as for what kind you know what we got birch so we're gonna go with birch so what I'm gonna do is put like a stair I guess like I guess right here no see it's gonna take a little bit of planning it's gonna take a few uh, a few versions for me to be happy with how it looks but something like this and then we can just sort of gracefully walk up here and then get up to this area and I think this is where I want my chest storage to be I had this all planned out in my head but when even when you plan something out in your head it still doesn't always turn out the same way so what I need to get is just a few things I need to get some cobblestone first of all and then I'll start transferring my chests up there once I get them placed. But like I'm gonna have to go up and down this thing a whole a whole bunch of times just to get this right. But it's gonna look really cool once we get done. Um, I wanted to do that with a little bit of wood, but we really don't have that much wood. We have wood growing over here. Yeah, but not that much. I'll deal with that later. We'll get some wood off camera. It's no fun to mine. It's no fun at all. You know, sitting there all day being a logsmith, it's no fun. That's not a it's not a job. A logsmith, I don't think that's real. All right, back up at the top. So my vision here is I want to have a little bit of a walkway in front of the chest. Um, something like okay, so I'm gonna make these into slabs, and this will make it a whole lot easier to explain. So I want to be able to climb up. Hmm, I guess like right here should be good. Something like this. And we can put an upside down stair and it'll look just fine. So you just kind of climb up here and then we have access to our chests. Obviously right here is going to be the closest place we can put these. But I want to have all these slabs right here just be placed. It kind of ruins the area above this but below it I kind of want to stick furnaces since we'll have a little bit of an empty space. I think that's what I'm going to go for. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting all of my chests in the wall right here. Now I'm not 100% sure of the width and everything, but we'll be able to sort of figure that out as we go. Uh, but we can stack chests up to be four blocks high. So one, two, three, and four. So I guess I'm gonna end up breaking out this entire area. You know, it's okay. That's sort of the beauty of playing Minecraft. You sort of try things and then you, and then you mess up and then you try them again. So we'll put fence right here just so we don't end up falling off of our platform. And I'm gonna go ahead and mine all this off camera. Now the only issue is is if we break these blocks right here, that's the only problem where it's gonna look bad. So what I'm gonna do is okay, we didn't have we don't have a block to fill it in with. Oh man. Okay, well you know what? We can get some blocks to fill it in with. I just can't have cobblestone. So yeah, there we go. A little sandstone never hurt anyone. And we'll go ooh, iron. Always always a fan of iron, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, but what I meant was I don't want to fill it in with blocks that when you see them they don't look natural So this area right here will have to sort of leave Empty we'll have to start the chest right here just because I don't want it to protrude to the outside So yeah, let me break all this off camera. I'll come back in a second when it's done shouldn't be too long at all 
Now, I think I'm going to cut it about right there because I don't think we need really much more chests than that. I mean, we're going to need a good bit of chests, don't get me wrong, but let me see. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, we've got to do it one more. So I want to have my enchanting room be like over here because I can break out this way a good bit, but over here it's close to the edge, so I can't dig that far out. So what I've got to do now is I've got to break all the blocks on the floor, all the blocks uh, above, which I need up some stairs. Actually, you know what? Slabs will do just fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting slabs up top here. That way we can open the chests that are at the very top like that, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to have to fill in cobblestone um, behind them as well, just so it doesn't look bad. I would fill it in with glowstone, but we don't have that much glowstone yet. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to give you a little update on what I'm doing so you guys don't get too confused, too lost. Uh, it shouldn't be that long though at all. And the last block is placed. So I'm going to need to make a bunch of chests to put in here uh, because right now I don't really have that many. Uh, but the goal is to have a bunch of chests in a big row just like this. And I uh, have them all along that wall right there. And we got a pretty cool way to get up and down from it. Um, I kind of want to fill this in like that and make it look a little bit better. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go grab a bunch of wood. I may have to farm some wood too. I'm not really sure I guess we'll go down here and check I'm still so scared of falling off this ladder and dying. Um, I don't know why I haven't mitigated that. Oh my god <sighs> I don't know why I haven't mitigated that uh, Possibility entirely, but for some reason I just decide to not change it and leave it how it is Which is the stupidest thing in the world. I don't know why I haven't fixed it. I don't ask me ask my brain My brain and me are separate uh, sometimes we do not communicate in the ways that you'd think a person normally would, but that's just how I roll. Um, so we don't have a bunch of wood to make a bunch of chests out of, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm. We have a ton of bone meal, which makes this actually super duper easy. Uh, we got all that bone meal, of course, from our mob farm, our beautiful, beautiful, large mob farm. I'm very happy we built that just because it gives us an edge. This chest is also completely full. It's going to be super fun moving all this stuff up. I really wish at some point that they would have added a way for you to, um, you know what I mean, like a way to move chests. I know mods have that and whatnot, but uh, there's, there's no mod that does that or there's no like default way to do it. And I just think it's kind of weird that you can't do it like that. And then I was just checking for some oak saplings, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to have to mine this by hand and hopefully get saplings. So I'll have to sit here and wait for them to decay or break them by hand. But it's not something I'm gonna be showing a bunch of me doing on camera because you guys don't wanna watch someone mine wood. At least I don't think you do. And that's good that we're getting more of this. Uh, we are gonna need to make this a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and grab a bucket or something here. Where's a bucket? Where's a bucket? I know we have a bucket. Did we die with our bucket? Surely not. It has to be in one of these chests. No, it's not. I swear to God, we had a bucket. We must have died with our bucket. You know what? We're going to make one more. Just because it can't hurt to have an extra bucket, I suppose. I don't know where my other one went, but it will be missed, I guess. I, again, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't remember losing it, but I've died a lot in this series, so it wouldn't surprise me if I had lost it and just forgotten. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a little bit of wood farming just to get some wood. Of course, I don't know why else you do it. And then we're going to get a bunch of chests, fill those in, move our inventory, and then get on with building the rest of the house and moving our beds and whatnot. Even though we have this beautiful sleeping arrangement, we'll have to move the beds, unfortunately. We can also sleep to change it from night to day, which, you know, I should do more often, but to be fair, the night doesn't really cause me any peril just because, you know, there's no way for mobs to spawn, which is the beauty of this map, but, you know, it's also kind of why in the second season of this map, whenever we get to that point, I really want to do a 200 by 200 world because that would just be, I don't know, just get hyped for season two. I don't know when it'll be. Just kind of whenever this gets a little uh, a little old, I guess, and we'll just sort of we'll, we'll just play it by ear. I don't really have an exact plan for that or when I want to do it, but I promise whenever I do do it, I think it'll be pretty cool to watch. Um, a lot of you have been suggesting for me to try Scramble Craft, and I just watched Atlantic Craft's Let's Play of Scramble Craft. I watched like the first three episodes, and man, that mod looks <laughs> that mod looks very very fun. So if we added that to Falling Falling, things make it crazy but I don't know if that's something you guys want to see basically scramble craft uh, eliminates all normal recipes it, it sticks with the same patterns for the recipes but the materials are all jumbled and scrambled up hence the name scramble craft so for instance uh, if you want to make a diamond pickaxe the recipe may be bone meal you know like or a diamond pickaxe may be 
let's say this is the recipe for like a block of iron maybe that'll give you a diamond a diamond block or maybe it'll give you a bed you really just don't know a scramble craft so maybe we'll do that plus a falling falling map we'll just sort of see how it goes uh, but yeah let me do this for a bit and then when I come back we should have a bunch of wood but yes again thank you guys for the tips on the bamboo I know I've said that like for three episodes now but truly it's so nice and it, it runs through the swords really quick but we don't really have a use for our swords anyways uh, but it's super nice having an easy way to uh, smelt things it just makes things better because I don't have to worry about coal I know I can always make charcoal but sometimes again my brain and body don't communicate and I don't end up ever making it uh, so again for whoever suggested that thank you thank you thank you uh, as you can see our, our saplings are definitely multiplying we've got we've got a good bit more than we have now oh no that's what I'm trying to prevent uh, but yeah <laughs> we got a good bit of bamboo now that's what I was trying to come back to say now, knowing some of you in the comments, and no offense to you guys, you were yelling at me, you are telling me, Neo, why are you using a stone axe? And I guess it's kind of a waste of iron in a way, I mean, there's different viewpoints on it, but I just decided to make an iron axe because I was tired of farming at the stone age speed. I really had to speed things up, literally, and uh, make a little bit of an iron axe. So, that's the last piece of wood. Um, we should be good. I don't know how many chests this will end up being, but we need a pretty good bit. So let's see. How many can we make from all this wood? Will it be enough? Will I be satisfied with the number of chests I can create? 30 chests? Hmm. Okay, I won't forget the saplings this time. I won't forget the saplings this time. I won't forget the saplings this time. Now, I'm trying to do some math in my head because I got nothing else, nothing else to do while climbing this ladder. Nothing better to do than do a little bit of good old number crunching. I think I may have four too many chests, but we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see because I really don't know. I'm terrible at math. I had to take business calculus, which is watered down calculus, twice to pass it. And I, I hope none of you ever have to take calculus. But if you're going to be in college, then you're probably going to have to take calculus for most degree. No, we, we're going to end up... See, this is why you don't trust my math. Because I'm completely wrong. We don't have enough chests. But good thing is, we have a little bit of extra wood. Uh, but we shouldn't need more chests than that. And if we do, we're going to run into trouble. Because that's already so many materials. And can I... Cr oh, I could crouch and fall in that now. Thanks, Minecraft, for changing that. I love it. Okay. Oh, and don't forget about the saplings. Remember? Remember? I didn't forget... I didn't forget, although we didn't really miss any. We got like four. You know what? That's fine. I just want to have at least uh, more than we started with. And when we started farming wood, we had two. So that is technically more. Uh, so what I'm going to do is grab like this wood and this wood. Stuff that we can just find or block farm for. And then make the rest of the chests. I don't even... I should have counted how many we need. So this we may end up with a little extra. We definitely don't, don't need more than 20. So we'll call it even. Call it square and fair there. I guess fair and square is the correct term. And we're going to start saying fair and octagonal. How about that? So if you're still watching the video, if you wouldn't mind leaving it a like. I know I'm. you guys know me because I'm very humble. I don't ever ask for likes. But I really would appreciate it on this video. I'm getting kind of down just because my views have been so down. I don't know if it's because of school or because of the content I'm making. I really don't know. Uh, but if you're out there and you still support me, if you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, it really would help cheer me up. I know that sounds like you're just fishing for likes, and I, you know what, I'll admit it, I am fishing for likes. I really do want to see how many we can get if we really put our efforts uh, together and try, because I don't know, you know, I... I don't know, uh, usually a lot of people, like when I watch YouTube videos, I'm a, I'll be honest with you guys, I just watch them, I don't really like things, I don't, I don't really comment or interact, so I, f I am guilty of that myself, but if you're one of those people who just lurks on my channel and watches me, if you wouldn't mind, you could scroll or tap down or slide your finger down and click the button, tap the button, whatever you have to do, press the A on your controller, it would really, really help cheer me up, because I really do feel like my channel's dying. But I get that feeling a lot. I really do. I wish it's kind of unprecedented in most cases. Like, I mean, I, sometimes I'll just get down about things I don't really need to. Uh, but it still happens. And I'll be honest with you guys. I don't want to lie to you. Uh, but yeah, if you guys could do that, it would help me out. It wouldn't. I mean, it's not going to give me money or anything. That's not what likes do. Um, I guess they do boost your video and the algorithms or something. I, I don't really know how that works. But if you guys want to, would you mind? If you don't want to, I know I said just shut up. You're like, a lot of you just left. You're like, I don't want to hear this guy whine. Get out of here. Uh, but yeah, that would really be uh, really be nice to do if you'd like to. If you don't want to, that's okay. Just keep watching. Um, so what I want to do next is make some item frames because we've been going with these chests for like 15 episodes. What? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. And they're not organized really at all. 
So I figure, why not organize our chest a little bit? So this should be enough for eight more item frames. It's definitely not enough. We need more sticks, which means we need to use more wood. And we have a little bit of wood. We don't have really any extra sticks, but good thing sticks are pretty easy to make. So something like this should be good. Another eight. I think 22 is enough. I mean, obviously that wasn't enough chests, but we're not going by chests now. We're going by double chests. Each double chest needs its own, so I think we should be good. All right, I'm gonna put all this up. Now what I'm gonna have to do, and it's gonna be a painstaking process, I'm gonna have to break all of these chests. So for instance, I'm gonna have to break this one right here, or just this half of a chest, and then I'm gonna have to transfer it up there. <laughs> but I can't get to it, and I have to break this one. Hopefully that's not the one with the stuff in it. Dang it. Okay, well, uh, okay, actually, you know what, that's not that bad. I just wanna make sure I'm grabbing mainly the sand sort of blocks. Okay, this, okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, so now I gotta go up, which is gonna take so long because of this ladder. I know I should make a water spout that works, you know, with sandstone or whatever you wanna call it, a water elevator, I guess, would be more proper terminology. I really should make one of those, but I'm lazy. And, you know, we probably will make one, but my question is, is this, how long is it gonna take me to place 256 buckets of water? Because I don't have kelp, so I can't make the water flowing blocks into sources. So it could be tricky, but I guess that's just sort of how it's gonna go. All right, this may be enough item frames. I may need to grab a few more, but it's okay if not all my chests are labeled just yet. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough, but you know what, a good majority are labeled and then we'll do the rest later. So this will be dirt, this will be gravel, and then we need a chest for like sand and stuff. We'll do this one and then gravel obviously goes in the gravel chest. So it's gonna be nice finally having a very, very sorted uh, inventory. Next episode, I'm gonna be making a sky farm. Or I'm gonna call it infinity farm, I guess. Uh, we'll go ahead and make this into the wood chest and we'll just throw in all the wood stuff because usually it doesn't take up too much uh, space, just all like the signs and trap doors and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it feels good to be getting started on some organization efforts. It's definitely a good thing. But yeah, I'm gonna finish most of it and then I'll come back when I just do the last little bit of organizing all the chests. It'll take a while for me, but not for you. Lucky. Okay, so this is pretty much the last chest. I think I'm gonna bring uh, everything else I sort of want to leave in its respective areas. Aside from that stuff, all this is like mob drop stuff. Okay, we definitely want to take the ender pearls, and then, yeah, stuff like this I just want to sort of leave in here. There's not really a whole lot of other things I want to take. Um, everything else I can sort of craft up there as needed. Uh, one thing I do need to do is fix that door, but I don't really have any blocks, especially no cobblestone, so we'll have to fix that at a later date. So let me get up here for the final time. Oh man, I cannot tell you how many times I've gone up and down here. Um, it definitely takes a good bit, but it's going to be worth it. We're finally going to have the house to- oh no, I need to grab the beds. That's one thing I definitely have to grab. And I do have the inventory space for it. I say beds, I think we'll leave a couple. <laughs> we'll just take two, how about that? We'll just take two, and you know what? We're gonna break them all up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dye them. I don't know if this is how you dye them or not. I guess we'll find out in a second. Yes, we'll have a yellow bed. We'll have a, uh, a light gray bed. <laughs> and then we'll have a, that gives you light gray too. Oh, come on, Minecraft devs. You guys getting lazy? Do I not have any other flowers? I think I do. Yellow, red, there we go. And then I can make a blue bed from that and then I think that should be good we don't need a whole ton of other colors I think that's actually all of our beds and then a red bed okay so we got different colored beds if we ever have people over um, we'll put of my least favorite colors we'll put a yellow down here and then we'll put a gray and then a white just because those are the most boring colors I can think of and then we'll keep the red and the blue which look pretty snazzy now we'll head back up and be, uh, and be pretty much done with uh, transferring all of our materials. I want to make some furnaces up here, uh, maybe some blast furnaces and some smokers too. We'll just sort of see how it goes. Okay, hype, hype, and there we go. You guys can see, I mean, there wasn't that much stuff actually. I was expecting there to be a lot more, but there wasn't actually a whole ton of stuff. Um, oh, man, I see we have an Enderman problem and it's not something I can really fix because they're in the mob spawner, like, right below this. I think it's below this. And they just sort of fall into here all the time. So we're just gonna have to deal with random... Seriously. Why is that noise so loud? We're gonna have to deal with random things falling all the time. 
Uh, we have six ender pearls, which is good. We need to have a, a tools chest. Oh man, <laughs> came up here to greet us. Uh, we'll put our we'll put our tools down in. You know what? Let's not put them there. We'll put our tools like right here. Um, so basically, we're gonna have a ton of bows and stuff like that. Stuff we just don't need anymore. I don't know where our oh, there's our iron axe. I was like, I don't know where our iron axe went. It's like, dude, did you did you even try to find it, or did you just say that without thinking? And I said it without thinking. No, that's just what I do. Knowing myself, I usually do that. Okay, did I make him mad? No. Okay, so for now, we'll just put our bed like right here, and right here, and we'll call it good. There's not much else we can really put near it, um, aside from maybe a little mossy cobblestone to fancy it up a little bit, something like this. I'm not really sure. Do we have enough to make some slabs? Yes, we do. Okay, so we can put one more block like right here, and then have a little bed thingy. Again, I don't really know what it is, but hey, it makes our beds look a little bit better, so that's a good thing. But yeah, as far as all the torches go on the floor, that's a no-no. Um, at night, though, it's going to get pretty dark, so I need to figure out how I'm going to do lighting in here. Um, whether it be glowstone on the walls or something like that, but I'm going to have to figure out something because if I don't, we'll see, I was just about to say, I'm going to dread doing this because I'm going to have to go back, up, but I don't have to go back anymore because all my materials are up here. So we'll start prettying this place up a bit. Um, I'll have to go up and down a good bit. Like a ton, Actually, we'll have to go up and down a ton of times uh, from the walls at least. Uh, but yeah, I want to gather all the torches that are just sort of placed hap haphazardly on the walls. And then from there, see this one, there's only a few on this wall right here, so it won't be that bad actually. Um, and then I'm going to have to put some glowstone in the walls. I think I have more acacia trapdoors, but if I don't, I think I have another solution as well. So let's run up here to our rare chest and let's see. No, it's this one. So we have glowstone for days. That's good. Do we have any more? Where's my wood chest? It's right here. Do we have those acacia trapdoors? We have six. Okay, but we do have these, <sighs> but will this be enough? Hmm, let's find out together. Okay, 14 trapdoors. You know what, that's a start. So what I wanted to do was just sort of randomly along this wall again. I don't want anything to be too uniform, I just want to sort of have some lights on the walls. And uh, again, like if, if you make things super uniform, they look good um, in some cases, but I'm more of the, the view that if you randomize things a little bit, they're gonna look really good too. And it's uh, not commonly shared, I guess, asymmetry isn't, but I'm really, I'm a fan of asymmetry, guys. I will admit it, I love asymmetry. Um, as far as lighting goes on these walls, we'll just have to sort of do something like this, I guess. It really just depends on where on the wall we're gonna do it, but some of these areas are just gonna be dark and there's no avoiding it. But where I wanted to put my furnaces, which I can, oh, that sucks. Actually, you know what, it doesn't, because it gave us four, RNG, thank you. Um, ooh, that's a glitching cobblestone block. So if I grab something fancy, like some cobblestone, for instance, and I make a few furnaces, then we should be able to fill in this entire wall with furni. Now, I know that's not the plural form of furnaces, but we're just going to pretend it is. We're just going to do a little pretending. Uh, but yeah, eventually along this wall, I want to have some smokers and stuff. I don't, I don't know how many blocks I'm going to need, but hopefully this is enough. And looky there, we got a little bit of iron. Isn't that nice? Will you give... Wait, no, we're going to have to break in. We're going to have to break into our own wall. How dare the... Uh, but yeah, I don't know if this is enough or not, but I guess we'll find out in a second. So it's pretty it's pretty unconventional how this home is styled, I understand, but that's the fun part. You know, we're playing on a map that's very unconventional, so I figure we might, we might as well just do something a little bit crazy. Um, but yeah, this works great. That actually looks really cool. Um, and then as far as crafting tables go, like we have this one right here, but I'd like to make them look a little different. So if we can grab, do we have any more? No, but we do have it chests in here. We also had some already crafted, unfortunately, but eh, that's okay. This Enderman, though, is going to drive me up the wall. I really want to see him gone. Um, we'll take some chests, and uh, yeah, we already have chest storage up there, but maybe we want another chest right there or something, and we're going to kill this Enderman. You know what? We're going to kill him. We're going to make an iron sword. I know we don't necessarily need an iron sword, but I mean, at some point we may, so we'll go ahead and make one. Also, let me see, can I grab this wood before I make myself look like a fool and die? Okay, we have tons of oak, that's perfect. But yeah, let's see if we can kill this uh, Enderman here uh, without making, again, a complete fool of ourselves. I guess we'll just sort of find out. I'll break this, 
put this here, and then the furnace. Oh, we'll put the furnace back. That's not a furnace, dude. That's a freaking, what's it called? Neo's brain is fried. Okay, come here. Come here, dude. You're so annoying. Okay, I'm low on health. This is not good. It's gonna spawn me in the wall. No, it didn't. It didn't spawn us in the wall. Thank, thank God. Okay, do I have any swords in here? No, I don't. So I'm gonna have to run up there with an angry, an angry Slenderman looking dude. Okay, please tell me he's not aggroed anymore. And if he is, I just need to grab my sword. Where did it even go? Okay, you know what? You ruined us. You're gonna die now. Get out of here. You're trash anyways, dude. Get out of here. And of course, he's gotta make his super duper loud noise. Like, why? Why is that even in the game? Who knows? But, they did program it, so we will respect it. Uh, but yeah, our house is looking pretty good. There's not much else to really do this episode. I'm gonna think of a few things, obviously. For next episode, um, I think what next episode is gonna be is, again, as I said, a sky, a sky farm, an infinity farm. I don't really know what to call it just yet, but it's gonna be really cool, I promise. It's gonna be a farm, and it's gonna be big. It's gonna take up an entire layer. Uh, I want to do it kind of above my house, but not close to the mob spawner. Again, I think the mob spawner is below the house. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I guess we'll sort of figure it out next episode whenever we have to. But thank you guys for watching episode 17. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed getting all of our stuff moved up here so we don't have to deal with uh, mobs trying to get us while we go up and down that ladder. I guess we don't really have to worry about that, but I did not enjoy the moving part, but I enjoyed the building part which is always my favorite part of Minecraft, and bye-bye cobblestone. But if you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to download this map for yourself, go ahead and check out the link down in the description below. Shout out to Mr. Birdie for creating this wonderful map. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a season two of a 200 by 200 version of this map instead of this boring old small 25 by 25. So it'll be 200 times 200 times 256, which is, what's 200 times 200 times 256? On the what? What's 200 times 200 times 256? That would be 10,240,000. Blocks. It would be 10,240,000 blocks. Would you guys want to see that? <laughs> that would be interesting. This map is already pretty crazy enough, but maybe you guys want to see a map with 10 million blocks. Who knows? But yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one or in the next episode of Skygrid. We'll just have to see. But thank you guys for watching. Bye.